Hey Cougars, I graduated from Pulaski County High School in 1995. My name is Joey Trail. I'm a teacher here in Horry County Schools, currently serving as Teacher of the Year. I teach in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I also co-own a Performing Arts Academy here in Myrtle Beach with about 350 kids. So it's a lot of kids I'm around all the time. And I was asked, how did Pulaski County High School make you college and career ready? In 1995, what we would consider college and career readiness standards weren't really around. And there wasn't as much rigor involved in that. But what I can tell you is that even in 1995, which, wow, was 20 years ago, what was prepared in me for college readiness was it was the first time that college as a choice was even introduced to me from the teachers at Pulaski County High School. I'm a first-generation college graduate, meaning no one on either side of my family has graduated college up until now. And uh, it wasn't really considered that much of a choice to go to higher education. And not until Pulaski County High School did I learn that that was indeed a possibility. As far as career readiness, uh, more than just standards of how my lexile level or uh, if I could read complex text, those type of things, Really with career readiness, what was more important that Pulaski County High School teachers and staff did for me was instilling me this value of mutual respect. And it is very important to have that mutual respect in the workforce because no matter how many degrees or how smart you are, your inability to work with people and when people don't want to be around you can really indeed impact you in your future career choices. Other than mutual respect, also Pulaski County High School was a place all about relationships when I was attending there from 91 to 95. It was a place of complete inclusivity. Everyone was welcome and everyone belonged. Uh, you could have many options. You could go into the arts. You could go to the vocational school, the governor's school, uh, high academics, advanced placement courses through New River Community College, dual enrollment. All of those options were there for you. And I hope that they still are there for you. And I hope that the Cougar Land is still a place of inclusivity. And I hope that all of you, whether you are going to attend college straight out of high school or you indeed plan to go straight into a career, Take everything that's given to you, every bit of advice for those of you preparing for college and maybe you're the first student in your family to go to school in a higher level. Use the guidance counselors. That's what they're there for. At least they should be there to help you get into college and let you know step by step what do I need to do to make it happen. And for any of you that have it in the back of your mind, well, I can't afford college. Your family tells you we can't afford college. Trust me, there is a way. There is a way. There's always a way. So I hope you guys have a great year. Uh, I'll be sweating it out down here in Myrtle Beach, and I uh, hope you have a fantastic 2015 and 16 in Cougar Land in Dublin, Virginia. Peace out. Hello, my name is Roxanne Thompson, and I'm a Pulaski County High School class of 1999 graduate. Um, I currently work for Pulaski County Public Schools, and I was named 2015 Pulaski County Public Schools Teacher of the Year. Pulaski County Public Schools is full of dedicated, passionate, caring educators who inspire students on a daily basis. Um, I consider myself lucky, lucky to have gone through Pulaski County Public Schools and hopefully I'm inspiring students on a daily basis now too, working in Pulaski County Public Schools. Our school system definitely has a, a winning formula because look at how many um, teachers, I don't know how to word it, how can I word that Pulaski County Schools must be doing something right because if you look at all the schools in the county, there are dozens of teachers today who went through Pulaski County Schools, so apparently they were inspired somewhere along the way by really great teachers, so, so we're doing something right. How did I choose my career path? Um, to be honest, I changed my mind dozens of times when I was going through school. I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up, and I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that I had so many great teachers who um, were passionate about different subjects, and so their passion inspired me to love their subject as well. Um, just to name a few, um, I became a theater major because of Jeff McCoy and his dedication to the theater program. I fell in love with history because of Lisa Swope and the wonderful stories that she told us in class. I wanted to be a journalist because Frank Kasich is one of the best writers I've ever known. He definitely taught me how to write um, many a college essay. Thank you, Mr. Kasich, for all those A's. I really appreciate it. And um, I have an appreciation for world cultures because of Jenny Pfizer and her dedication to French. So it was really hard to pick what I wanted to be because there were so many loving, passionate, caring teachers that inspired me along the way. Hello, my name is Mark Hanks. I'm assistant principal here at Pulaski County High School. I grew up in the Pulaski County School System. I went to Northwood uh, for 
Christopher Street Fifth, Central Elementary, Glass Middle School, Oriole Pride. And then I came here, graduated in 1979, and uh, went to Indiana College. Felt very prepared. Uh, I took so many classes here, so many different avenues I went down. I think back to having, I had a class where I silk screen and did photography and, and um, drafting and so forth. I just felt very prepared when I went to Emory and liberal arts. I, my English class prepared me well for the papers that I was to write. And yeah, I, um, and at Emory, I, you know, I played basketball there and um, majored in econ. Thought I wanted to go into graduate school there, uh, but as it turned out, I came back here and started taking some classes at Virginia Tech uh, to get my master's degree in athletic administration and uh, started coaching some in here and just fell in love with the um, working with kids and ability to build relationships. And, uh, you know, I just, I felt like the school system, you know, kind of through the years, uh, watching, watching my mom teach in the school system later on, my dad teaching school system. I just, you know, that relationship is what, what all that is about. And uh, I just saw that, and I guess I, I, that, that was just running me from a young age. And, and uh, you know, part of that, obviously, is my family, a bigger part of that, but uh, also it's the school system. And, and, uh, and that, that was just always, uh, you know, something that I never really, I guess, in the back of my mind, I always, I always wanted to coach and teach. And, uh, you know, I, I'm quite, quite happy it turned out this way. Obviously, it's, uh, it's, been a, it's been a dream. I wouldn't do anything different. Uh, you know, I, I absolutely love coaching and teaching. Uh, you know, I guess if I had to say one thing about administration, I miss sometimes the, the relationship with that I built on the practice uh, court uh, or in the classroom, uh, uh, but at the same time, it's it, it's a challenge. And every every day, I, I look forward to coming to work. And I'm, you know, I'm not sure how many people could say that after 31 years they still look forward to coming to work, but uh, I do. And uh, very very proud to be a part of the Alaska County School System. And uh, and uh, you know, I tell anybody that, that wants to wants to hear. Hi, my name is Kendall Payne, and I am the founder of Adair Theater, uh, the NRV's first uh, community theater. Um, I am a 2001 graduate of Pulaski County High School. Um, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about how high school has prepared me for college. Um, I, high school is probably the first time that we uh, get to apply a lot of life skills um, in the sense of time management, um, dealing with uh, several things at once, multitasking, as well as um, maybe staying cool and calm under pressure. And I think uh, high school um, allows a lot of activities and electives that you can apply those uh, to. Um, I was very active in the theater department as well as wrestling. And um, I would have to say that wrestling definitely is a sport where you have to stay cool and calm under a lot of pressure. Uh, you not only have that clock ticking down, but and the pressure of staying uh, on top as far as your points and uh, scoring go. Like So um, definitely that has helped me um, to apply to, to life skills. Um, theater um, asks a lot of you as far as um, memorization and communication. and. Um, the ability to act, sing, dance, all at the same time are great uh, components that help you strengthen your multitasking ability um, as well as balancing several activities at once. Hi, my name is Scott Huddle and I graduated from Pulaski County High School in 1986. I do not want to boast, but I feel very blessed to be living the epitome of the American dream. More importantly, I want all of you to know that anything is possible if we make the most of the resources and opportunities in front of us in PCPS. I am a vice president at Brightstar, which is owned by the SoftBank Corporation from Japan, which owns Sprint and Supercell, maker of Clash of the Clans, along with 1,300 other companies globally. For all of the many blessings I enjoy, I must thank Pulaski County Public Schools for giving me the educational and social foundation that made my current life possible. One of my earliest memories 
is during first grade. I was identified as performing above grade level. My teacher, Mrs. DeHart, at Riverlawn convinced my parents to let me take second grade math and reading classes to see how I perform, and so I didn't get bored. This basically meant I got to skip a grade. My mom was always asking, did you do your best? I continued to ask myself that question throughout my adult life, and that simple question drove me to achieve everything that I have achieved. Thank you, Mrs. DeHart, Mrs. Rutrow, second grade, Mrs. Baldwin, third grade, and the entire Riverlawn staff for seeing my potential and keeping me interested in school rather than bored and frustrated. At high school, Ms. Steele helped me to learn to write properly, Mr. Duncan made science cool and interesting, and Mr. White's AP Calculus class made me work harder than any other class I had taken. I hope you realize that many students like myself remember your names, even 30 or 40 years later, and we all appreciate your hard work and dedication to make us productive members of society. You truly make a difference in so many lives and in the future success of our country and society. Thank you. To close, I have been very blessed and I have been helped by many people throughout my career and life and Pulaski County Public Schools was a big part of that. Good luck to you all, and I hope you have a great school year. Good afternoon and greetings to the Pulaski County teachers and staff. My name is Ann Pugh Chrisman, and I am a proud 1978 graduate of Pulaski County High School. I was actually in the first freshman class of the new high school as we joined Dublin and Pulaski together. I am a proud Dublin Duke. And so we were the first class to go through the high school, so there was a learning curve. But the teachers were wonderful in blending and melding all of us together. My class was about 500 um, folks, so it was a large class, much larger than we had ever had. And I did go on to attend Virginia Tech after I graduated from high school, and I was very well prepared. Uh, the teachers and staff did a great job throughout my high school career of preparing me. The classes were well well formulated and, and founded, and the teachers did a wonderful job. I specifically appreciate Mrs. Armbruster, who was a, my advanced grammar teacher, the toughest class I had all through high school, and also thoroughly enjoyed Mr. Newberry's American Literature class and did my very first term paper in that class for him. Uh, Mrs. Freeman, eight o'clock in the morning, geography, all of my teachers were wonderful, and my degree at Virginia Tech was in finance, so I did need a very strong math background, which I did get uh, at the high school level with Mrs. Tate and all of the other math teachers. So I'm very appreciative of all that they did and helped to formulate me and prepare me for life in college. But I also want to go back to my days at Dublin Elementary School because that's where the foundation really began. I had Mrs. Rohr, Mrs. McCoo, Mrs. Saunders at the Dublin Elementary School, and they truly did lay the foundation for work ethic, homework, and um, studying for tests, and, and so on. So it started way back then and culminated at the high school. I wasn't a very social person in high school, quite the introvert, but I was in the band, and that helped me a great deal because we were a very large group. Uh, our band was about 200 folks, and my senior year, I was drum major. So that helped me to become a leader on and off the field. I learned to get to on the field before everybody else and to stay after everybody else. I learned to motivate and encourage um, the band members. And i very appreciative of Mr. Props, the band director, and all that he did uh, to help me in that role, which helped me later in life. After I graduated from Virginia Tech, I went to work at SunTrust Bank and was a commercial lender for 10 years. And then my husband and I started a manufacturing company in Christiansburg called Press Star Packaging, and we make boxes. And we've been in business now for 20 years. So all of my education at Pulaski County High School truly did help me at the college level, at the banking level, and now in business for ourselves. And so I. Um, 
I say thank you to all that you are doing for your students. I greatly appreciate the staff that I had back in those four years. And I know it's a, it's a different world now, and it's tougher to teach kids now, but um, I, I encourage you to keep doing what you're doing because um, actually we have gotten some Pulaski County High School graduates here as employees, and we're, we're thankful to have them and thankful for the education they received and what they bring to us here. And so um, my class motto was, we are wise, we are great, we're the class of 78, and I greatly appreciate all that was done. And just one last thing, I wanna say thank you to Chris Phillips for asking me to share my time with you, and um, you've done a great job with him. I've watched him grow and mature into a fine young man, and what he got through the theater department there at Pulaski County is wonderful and uh, he's going to continue with that at Radford University. So you're doing a great job. You're greatly appreciated. I thank you for all that uh, Pulaski County did for me and wish you the best of luck as you continue educating our young folks. Have a great day. Hello, my name is Jeff Lehman. I'm a PCHS graduate, class of 1986. I'm now a political science professor at the University of Notre Dame, the one in Indiana with the gold football helmets and the library with the touchdown Jesus mural. I've been lucky enough to spend the last 29 years of my life on college campuses. I went to college at Virginia Tech, earned a PhD in political science at Indiana University, and have been a professor at four universities, the University of Southern Mississippi, Vanderbilt University, the University of Maryland, and now Notre Dame. Being a college professor is a great job. It's not a job that will make you rich, but it pays well enough. It's also not the easiest job in the world because it's really two jobs. One of those jobs is teaching and working with students, while the other is doing research and writing books and articles about that research. But it's a lot of fun. I get to teach and work with smart students, basically set my own hours, and almost never have to wear a tie. Best of all, I decide for myself what I want to teach about and what I want to write about. I teach about and write about what I love, which is American politics, especially political parties and elections in the U.S. All in all, being a college professor is a great career. I wish I could inspire you by, saving, by saying that my time at PCHS was a time of determination, hard work, and dedication to my studies, but that would be a lie. Unfortunately, my story is much closer to that of former President George W. Bush, who joked that his becoming president should have been an inspiration to C students everywhere. However, I was closer to a B student. That is not to say that my time at PCHS did not help me on my path to a pretty successful career. Not at all. I really liked English and social studies classes, and those subjects have really been the foundation of my career as a writer and political science professor. I learned a lot about how to write from great English teachers at PCHS like Miss Steele and Miss Waller. I took a great U.S. history class from Mr. Tillman that really gave me my first taste of doing research on and writing about American politics. I really enjoyed writing a paper in that class on the rise of the Republican Party in Virginia. In fact, I enjoyed it so much that I decided to make a career out of it. I have been researching and writing about political parties and elections in the U.S. for the last 25 years. But I also think there is a lesson here. Surround yourself with good people and try to emulate them. Make friends with kids who are smart and work hard. Try to learn from them just like you learn from your teachers. Follow their example and you'll do much better for yourself. Hi, I'm Armstead Booker, Pulaski County High School graduate from the class of 1998. It's an honor to celebrate the start of the new school year with all of you. When I was in Dave Carroll's Earth Science class 20 years ago, he opened up a world of learning for me. Earthquakes, mountains, volcanoes, rivers, thunderstorms, rocks, minerals, everything that makes the Earth our ever-changing and dynamic home. It made such an impact on me that I went on to study geology in college and then a job as a designer and an educator at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Over a decade later, I am now the director of design at the museum, overseeing visual storytelling of all kinds of amazing science, from dinosaurs and microbes to galaxies and blue whales. 
I make posters of volcanoes that hang in the subway. I build mobile apps about animals. I put together books about research all over the world. I even work on the planetarium shows about stars and planets in the far reaches of the cosmos. I remember Mr. Carroll sitting down with me one day senior year, and he told me something that I'll never forget. He said, Armstead, you can do anything you set your mind to. All these years later, I walk through the halls of the museum, and I recall this valuable lesson that I can find success doing things that I love if I'm determined to work hard and see it through. Um, it's a simple edict to say out loud for sure, but it takes a lot of trial and error and grit and trust to actually find that success, no matter what you decide to pursue. My professional career as an artist and a storyteller is built on a foundation of amazing teachers who year after year would encourage me and speak life and hope into each lesson, both in and out of the classroom. I'm where I am today because of all the Dave Carrolls in the Pulaski County Schools. They are too numerous to name them all, but look around you. They are the ones who believe in their students and inspire them to make a difference in their community. So on behalf of all of the alumni celebrating with you today, I want to add my voice of gratitude for all the incredible teachers who make Pulaski so special. Thank you.